Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to give you a few minutes to take it all in. Get a little old this. I got her early this year. Outside my, not in my area, uh, the, the, what are they called? <laughs> The beauty supply store, not in my area. I felt like purple today. I didn't come on to talk about my hair. But give, give people in the back time to kind of take it in. Hopefully this is a short story. And then I'll get into why I'm vlogging for this one. Um, in t 2001. About 17 years ago, I, I back back before that that this incident happened, I used to definitely do my hair a lot. I didn't love doing my hair. I had enough hair to make a ponytail. I used my curling iron. I did my hair, and that's how I pretty much went. I'm trying to see where I can put my eyes while I talk, because sometimes you go straight here and it's weird. <laughs> so I look up there. So um, let's see. I always did my own hair. So, after a while, once I lost my job 17 years ago, I just was so upset and depressed. I was about to be promoted to at least assistant manager. I mean, I've done retail work for so long, and when this lady told me I was fired. I, I, write, I, I went I a went, uh, distance away from where I was working to get a job, and I was supposed to get that job, but for some reason, that fell through as well. I don't think the dollar stores were super duper popular. I'm not sure. It's, if, I don't know. But it just wasn't the will of God. So once that happened, I just kind of stopped taking care of myself, including my hair. And before I knew it, my hair was falling out in clumps. So you start to hear about people's hair falling out in clumps. And mine started doing that. So my um, oldest niece, I mean, I know. Yeah, she's the oldest out of all of them. She said, Auntie, go get yourself a quick wig, a quick weave. So it seems like a regular wig, but it has a comb in it. But it can show some of your hair and then blend in. And I don't know. Just between, I'm trying to do that process was kind of okay for me. But then I didn't really like it. And then I decided to just go ahead with wigs. And um, once... I noticed people noticed what I was wearing was a wig. Why did I? Well, why do I have to commit to a hairstyle? I mean, the same hairstyle. So I went. I stayed in the the brown and black of it all for a long time. Maybe brown with a little hint of black. Maybe black with a little hint of brown. But it got boring. And so um, I thought about my late aunt and how she had put the color blonde in her hair. And I believe I definitely dabbled in putting color in my own hair. and But you can't only do that by so many times. You know, I've been a dark uh, blue indigo. And I've done a honey blonde. And I've had it done it myself at home. And I've had it professionally done. And I said, it's just too much. I like to my, change my hair too too much. Getting hot. Oh, <laughs> I like to change my hair too much. So I said, you know, I talked to my husband about my hair and how I probably changed a lot. And so um, he was kind enough to say it wouldn't bother him. I said, would you embarrass me? And I, I can't seem to commit, you know, to a hairstyle. I mean, I'm committed to you, but hair, mm -mm, I need to switch up as much as possible. So hopefully that will help you understand why you're looking at purple today. And I just felt like purple today. I was going to do another color. But we're doing purple. This is a tag, new tag. I was thinking about, well, I believe the Lord helped me with this one. Definitely. All the time. Helps me all the time. I'm not doing, I'm not, if I'm in, if I'm uh, in a, a success of any type, because God gave that favor to, to us. Okay. So, um, let's see. Um, I was just using that finger because sometimes finger singles mean certain things and that finger just meant two. They mean nothing else because so much going on today in this world and I ain't trying to throw no hidden signals to nobody. I profess that now. Anyway, again, <laughs> um, the Lord had brought to my attention as I was washing dishes a conversation I had with my mom. 
And it was just a small conversation about the simple conveniences of life. You know, just she had said that, uh, you know, what would you need in your home to kind of make you feel like, even though things are kind of going diff- this way and that way, you know, that it's fine. At least this kind of made my, fi- made my life, um, made my, my quality of life happy and as normal as possible. Just so, you know, just like under the cusp of what I'm saying. Um, so for her, I said it doesn't have to be big. I don't know if I actually these questions. It was, this is so old. This conversation is so old. It was over 10 years old. Um, so she had said that she needed like paper towel and soda. You know, I, I mean, if I didn't have a lot of money, at least I know if I got my paper towel and my soda, I know things are looking on up and up. Something like that, she said. Definitely paper towel. And I had said possibly the same thing. But I wonder what is your, what are the conveniences of life um, that, you know, if you had certain things in your house make you feel like, you know, things may be rough, but at least I got thus and so. So life ain't that bad. <laughs> you know, it's important for me, uh, the, the height of that is to have the, the Lord Jesus Christ in my life daily conversations with him and prayer with him and word, reading the word of God. Without that, I would be truly messed up. I can sit and watch all the YouTube of life and click everything I like, but if I can't have a conversation with the Lord, I'm not going to be a happy person. You're going to want me to talk to God, because outside of God, you ain't going to want to bother with me. So um, the simple conveniences of life, uh, the things that will help you get through, even though you may not have everything that you think uh, or desire, but at least you have these things. And, you know, one more thing to just say, side note, that we're more blessed than we feel like we are. There are people that truly have nothing, that are homeless, that do not have a home. There are people that have a home, but they may be bouncing through different jobs to keep their rent paid up and things of that nature. But thank God to have um, to the ability to do something to make change that's what i'm hearing thank god for, thank god for a good positive change in jesus christ there's so much has happened today and yes i definitely have an opinion on the things i've heard today because today is the 7th i believe of december 2018 i do believe i have an opinion but i just feel like sometimes you know with that with all those things i'm thinking of um, what God has for you is truly for you. What God has for you is truly for you, and no man can take that away. See you soon.